Hi, I'm Swoog. I stream my crap live on twitch.tv slash swoogdoodle. I stream every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. PST. Come hang out. I'll say hi to you in chat and we'll like we'll make jokes to like back to each other. It'll be really fun. If you don't come, you're a loser too. So <laughs> you're doing it to yourself now, ain't you? I'm a Halo player. I'm a bad one, but I'm a Halo player. I've played every Halo game that isn't on mobile or uh, an arcade machine because I didn't have one of those near me when Fireteam Raven came out. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to go through all of the Halo games and give like my actual authentic thoughts on all of them. I grew up on Halo. I was always a Halo player. I've not been a very competitive kind of player until Halo Infinite came out. Uh, I was always like a big team battle guy. That was always my like my forte, and you'll kind of see that coming through with all of my rankings. But without further ado, Halo Combat Evolved. First Halo game ever made. One of the best shooters of what I consider modern gaming. B tier. It's going in B. And let, let me tell you why it's going only in B. A lot of people put CE really high just because it came first. But I want to do this objectively without like a whole bunch of nostalgia. Even though no matter what I'm going to be a little bit biased. That's just how it is. Halo's gameplay is revolutionary. For like 2002. Going back and playing CE now is fine. It's just very clearly old. About the multiplayer sucks. <laughs> CE multiplayer is not good. The maps are okay at best. There's two really good ones. There's Blood Gulch and there's uh, Beaver Creek. Oh, and the story. The story's like a six and a half out of ten. It's not great. Like, it's cool. The Flood are cool. The Flood's introduction are good enough for 2002. It's cool. It's just, it's not something to really write home about, especially by today's standards. Next up, we're doing Halo 2. A tier. Now, I might get some flack for putting Halo 2 in A and not S, because a lot of people's favorite game is Halo 2. Halo 2 on its own, I don't think it holds up super well, and I'm personally not a big fan of Halo 2's multiplayer. It's better than 1's. Like, it was actually designed the multiplayer was designed for multiplayer because they had the whole, like, Xbox Live thing going on now. I think later editions of Halo will make the multiplayer way better. Maps are a lot better. Balance is a lot better. Dual wielding's cool. But I still think it's dated. And that's kind of my, my only real critique about it. Story is significantly better in Halo 2 than it is in Halo 1. There's actual, like, character arcs and, like, development which is which we didn't get last time. <laughs> the Arbiter is dope. The Arbiter is like the best story for Halo. The whole like uh, finding out the prophets are bad guys and going through that like crisis of faith. That's super cool. Look, you can argue it's S tier. Some people call it S tier. I don't. It's A tier. Leave me alone. Halo 3. Also A tier. Also not, also not S tier like some people like to put it. I... I'm firmly not a Halo 3 bro. There are the Halo 3 bros who think that Halo 3 is the pinnacle of all video gaming. I disagree. Halo 3, the story and like just the single player aspect of it that I like, the way that I frame it, Halo 3 is a lot better than Halo 1. But Halo 2 is a lot better than Halo 3. Uh, I, because it's like the big finale and they were going for like, big scale and spectacle and scope we lost a lot of the intimate storytelling that we had in halo 2 it's definitely better than halo 1 because they're not like halo 1 is a one and done right custom games round of applause for halo 3 custom games and forge heck yeah that was one of the best parts of this freaking game halo 3 multiplayer for me personally is nothing really to write home about i can play probably four or five matches before i get bored and it might just be because I've played so much Halo in my life that, like, going back is a lot harder for me now just because it's like, ugh, I'm so slow. Oh my god, these guns suck. Right? I'm, I'm middle ground on the sprint argument. And so going back and not being able to sprint, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so slow. Why is this movement so bad? It's definitely an old game. ODST. ODST. Now, ODST, I give B tier. And the only reason it's B tier and not A tier is it doesn't have the staying power 
of the other Halo games because it wasn't really designed for it. ODSD, I think, has one of the best Halo stories. I like the simplicity of it. I like how it's one squad on one mission, and it's not like, it ain't even end of the world, man. It's just, don't die. <laughs> Get out. Get out of this city. I like the gameplay. I really, really do like the, you're not a Spartan. You have been nerfed, but it doesn't feel, it's not overly difficult, right? You're a lot less tanky. You're a little slower. Your weapons aren't great. The the pistol and the really all the human weapons aren't aren't all that good. Um, the SMG is all right if you get up close, but if you're playing on a harder difficulty, it takes like two mags to kill a brute. You really need like the carbine. You have to get covenant weapons to really get much done. Uh, I thought it was a really nice step away. I think it it works best. It does its best as being like this side story half game where it really was a DLC blown out of proportion and made a lot bigger. And Firefight is sick. Firefight in ODST is okay. It's whatever, but like, ODST Firefight walked so Reach Firefight could run. Halo Wars! Stay there. It's mid. Now, I'm coming at you as both a freaking huge Halo fan. I love Halo. But I also love RTSs. I... Not only did I grow up playing the Halo games, I grew up playing games like Warcraft 3, Age of Empires, Age of Mythology, StarCraft. I grew up playing RTSs as well, so I'm a big RTS fan. And speaking of this objectively, it's not a good RTS. <laughs> There's a reason RTSs haven't been developed for consoles after they realized it's stupid when they made StarCraft 64, which I played a crap ton of, by the way. The novelty of Halo doesn't last very long i think it lasts long enough to get you through the campaign and that is really bolstered by the fact that the story is a lot better than it really has any right to be like this is a side story rts why is the story slap so hard and why would they go so damn hard on the cutscenes, dog <laughs> those cutscenes are sick the novelty of halo after you beat the campaign and you try to jump into the the multiplayer it doesn't last long at all it doesn't get you very far and the multiplayer, I specifically did not like Halo Wars multiplayer because it is a rush game. It is either the enemy builds either an Arbiter or a Brute Chieftain and kills you at the two minute mark, or a UNSC player just builds 20 Warthogs and kills you, and there's nothing you can do about it. There, unless you go into a game and you and your opponent know each other and have already agreed no rushes, it's going to be a rush. And honestly, I think that boils down to just the lack of complexity in the game. They went with the, uh, the rock, paper, scissors technique. Uh, it's vehicles beat ground, ground beats air, and air beats vehicles. And that's okay. That's all right. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it's not complex. It's not deep. It's a fun little campaign. That's it. It's C tier. It's okay. Oh, but the music freaking slaps. I... I think Halo Wars music gets slept on a little too hard. Okay, Halo Reach. <sighs> Halo Reach. Well, bam, S tier. Halo Reach, best Halo game. Let that sink in. <laughs> that's, uh, some, that's a very popular opinion for some. It's a very polarizing game. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not a, I, until recently, I was not a competitive player. When I played Halo, Halo Reach, like, I was the Halo Reach high school kid, dude. Every day after school, I'd come in, hop in a game chat with my homies. Like, five or six of us hop on Halo Reach and have a good time. I mainly played Invasion and Big Team Battle. Those were my, like, that was my bread and butter. That is what I played every single day when I was young. And when, I, when you frame it like that, yeah, obviously Halo Reach is going to be your favorite. Because I think, one, Invasion needs to come back. The whole Spartan team versus the Elite team is so freaking sick. And I wish it would come back, but it won't because they're not bringing back playable elites. Rest their soul. That in the big team, like with all the forge maps and possibilities, with a really good forge and all the custom games and all of that, Halo Reach shined for players like me. I also loved Firefight. I loved the challenge system. The freaking Halo Reach armor customization is goaded, ladies and gentlemen. Where Halo Reach struggled was the professional scene. Armor abilities were unpopular, to say the least, and a couple of design decisions with the weapons did not help hardcore 
high skill level. The bloom and the DMR is bad. Armor lock sucks no matter what you're doing. And like stuff like that that makes the game less competitively viable. When I am in a 4v4 ranked game for $50,000 and I die because my enemy has a jetpack and I don't, that sucks. And I get why a lot of hardcore players don't like Halo Reach. I love it. I believe that Halo Reach could have the best campaign of any any Halo game. Truth be told, I don't think it does. I do think that title belongs to Halo 2. Moving on to Halo 4. Eh? Yes. Halo 4. C tier. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. C tier. Halo 4 is C tier. Now, Halo 4 is B-plot of the whole, like, Master Chief's the machine and Cortana the machine is a human. That's, that's dope. I like the modernized Master Chief isn't just a super badass anymore. Like, you're, he's being humanized. I think that's a really good route to take. I don't know why it took a bat. See? The Didact sucks. Freaking hate the Didact. <sighs> Lasky's cool. The gameplay was pretty bad. The Forerunner stuff is all garbage. And I have this weird nostalgia with Halo 4 multiplayer, alright? I get that it's not the best. The loadouts are stupid. The, like, weapon drops were stupid. Most of the game modes weren't very good. Uh, but I just, I like the gunplay, man. I don't know what it is. I like the gunplay. Like, when I go and play MCC, I'll usually do, like, a match or two a Halo 4. And, like, after a match or two, I'm like, all right, I'm done. But it just has this weird nostalgia for me, and I don't really know where it comes from, because I wasn't young when Halo 4 came out. I like it. I like Halo 4 most than I, more than I think most people like Halo 4, but I still don't really like Halo 4. Halo Wars 2. Now, Halo Wars 2 is B tier. It's better. It's a step in the right direction. Now, to talk about Halo Wars 2, I do need a I do need a preface. I have not played a single game of multiplayer. I got into Halo Wars 2 like two years too late, and I heard it was pay to win, and I was like, alright, I'm not playing multiplayer, I'm just playing single player. So all of my experience is single player. Cool? Cool? We're all on board? Got it. Boss fights are weird. <laughs> I don't like them. Okay, let me actually start. Let me actually start about the content. Because again, RTS fan. It's better. I wish it wasn't the whole like hold and you get your circle. I hated all of that. I think if they make a Halo Wars 3, it should be PC exclusive. Which now that they have PC Game Pass, I think is more practical and more of an option. Uh, but the weird like compromises they made to still have it be playable on console. It just doesn't really work. It still lacks depth and complexity, and I don't know. The Commander stuff was cool. There was a lot of new systems involved, and it's a very modern kind of RTS, which is funny to say because there are very few modern RTSs. The only RTS that I even know of that has come out in the last 10 years is Age of Empires. Like, people are still playing StarCraft, dude. Like RTSs are basically dead, which sucks because they're a lot of fun. Okay, a Total War kind of counts, but whatever. The big problem that I really see with Halo Wars 2 is it has no staying power of an RTS. Really all Halo Wars 2 has going for it is the novelty of it's a Halo game. And that goes away after a couple of hours. If I want to play an RTS, I play it either Warcraft 3 or I'm playing StarCraft 2. Meh. I'm not playing Halo Wars. Why would I play Halo Wars? No, if I'm like, I really want to play a Halo game, but I also really want to play a strategy game right now, I'll pull up Halo Wars 2. That might happen once a year, at best. But if it happens, it's there. But if it wants to be like a contender for a good RTS, I think it's going to have to, it's going to have to push, push past the console limitations and be a PC game with the hotkeys and shit and all of the stuff that makes an RTS viable and competitive and fun. Halo 5. Halo 5. Oh, my thing went away. Hang on. Hang on. Yep. Yep. Halo 5. Halo 5 sucks. <laughs> I don't like Halo 5 at all. Halo 5, as a Halo fan, was incredibly disappointing. The story's bad. Locke is lame. His whole team, Team Osiris, is lame. They somehow made Buck lame. Buck was great. Buck is a fan favorite for a reason. And he's lame in this game. Nobody likes him. Now, to talk about not story, because look, there's hours, 
worth of YouTube comment about why the stories are bad. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it. I want to talk about gameplay. So Halo has to move forward. Halo 4 was an okay step. Halo 5 was an outrageous overstep for Halo. On its own, if it didn't have the Halo branding to it and it was just like some game, I give it a six or a six and a half or seven out of ten. It's not bad. It's I played a decent amount of it. I probably have like a hundred something hours in it. I didn't play it on Steam, so I have no way to actually verify that. But I played a decent amount of Halo 5. The problems that I think it really runs into trying to sell itself as Halo is not only is the gameplay so far removed from the normal like gameplay rotation of Halo, because that's half of it, and that's the thing that most people are angry about. But the thing that I really like bums me out is it doesn't look or sound like a Halo game. The, there's a lot of different armor customization in Halo 5. The rec system sucks. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. The Spartans don't look like Halo Spartans. They will just look like FPS weird oddball soldiers. And I think once you step that... Like, once you step out that way, you kind of lose the Halo aesthetic. And it's just... There was so much going on, and none of it felt like a Halo game. It's just not fun as a Halo fan. If I'm coming in just wanting to play a shooter, it's going to be a fun time. It's a good shooter. It's well balanced. It's when you get to the really high, like tippity top levels, it starts to have gameplay issues. But if you're a normal freaking person like I am, yeah, you're not going to break the game. It's got good movement. It's hard. It's got a high skill ceiling. It's fun. It's a good shooter. It's just not a Halo shooter. And then these last three. I haven't played any of them. I haven't even played them. I don't play mobile games, and I don't have a Dave & Buster's near me. So I've never played them. Okay. That's going to be all for that.